Lately, there's been discussion around ferritin, iron, and confusion around symptoms of high HCT and low versus low ferritin. Are you able to discuss the impacts of iron on TRT? Iron is one of the ingredients responsible for uh, hematopoiesis, which is essentially a fancy word for formation of blood. Blood is derived by your bones. So your bone marrow, specifically your red bone marrow, um, is what is responsible for producing blood. And iron is one of the key ingredients. Now, iron tends to be carried in hemoglobin and it assists with oxygen transport. So naturally, the more hemoglobin you produce and more red blood cells you produce, the more iron is going to be taken up. And therefore, you may find that your ferritin actually decreases because your ferritin is just indicative of your iron stores. So as you produce more blood, your ferritin levels may seem like they're going down. Hematocrit is something that is interesting because that always comes up and people like to use it as a litmus test for should I go donate blood? You need to understand how transient hematocrit is. It is literally a snapshot in time, okay? I took a snapshot when I drew your blood and that told me at a frozen moment what those numbers were. There are things like your hemoglobin A1C, which are essentially a marker of a three month rolling average of insulin within the hemoglobin, which lives for about 120 days. So it gives you about a 90 day picture of your insulin sensitivity. Hematocrit is the complete opposite. It literally just tells you right now at this very minute. So if I went in right now and drew blood, and my hematocrit was 52, and I went and I had three of these water bottles, and an hour later went in and drew blood, my hematocrit could be 47. So don't run out there and do something drastic based on a photo. That's all that lab for your hematocrit was. It was a photo. It is a gauge, and then we have to look at other aspects. We want to look at your RBCs. We want to look at your hemoglobin. We want to look at the differential part of your CBC, which includes your platelets. And we want to come up to a conclusion of what is the total blood volume, excluding the plasma. How much cells are actually in your blood? Because remember, it's the platelets responsible for coagulation. And the RBCs are only going to cause an issue if the platelets have a higher risk of coagulation or if you have some uh, plaque buildup. So it's really more intricate about you know, risk for DVT or, 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 or heart attack or stroke or any of those issues than just saying my hematocrit's 52, I need to go donate blood. So try to understand that because I know in the bodybuilding forms, it's always about hematocrit's 50, go donate. You're doing this, go donate. And people rush. And then that leads to lower ferritin, lower iron, uh, possible anemia and fatigue. So don't go running out and spilling your blood. I mean, you, you need your blood. It's got a lot of good things. There's a reason we have it. Don't go out there every couple of months and just dump, you know, 12% of your body's blood supply. By mm. just because your hematocrit has a five in front of it that's it what i always tell guys is if it's if it's if you're seeing some kind of an issue occurring that you're thinking could be related to that and then you wind up donating blood and feel a hell of a lot better well you know i want you guys to feel better do that but there was a guy in our group uh nathan that messaged me saying i just had my hematocrit measured i'm at 58 i said how do you feel I feel fine it's like no issues what do you, you know, what do you do there? There's a bunch of doctors I've asked, like, what's your number? What is the number that if you see that number, you freak out and you tell the patient they're going to do something. And most of them say, I don't really have a number. There's not really a number that I'll ever see that will warrant. Doing that. It has to correlate to other aspects. It's not a standalone number. There has to be other underlying aspects. So, I mean, you got you can't just say, look, this is my hematocrit. That's great. What's your RBC? What's your platelets? What's your hemoglobin? What's your blood pressure? How old are you? Do you have any pre-existing conditions? Any other factors to it? What's your hydration level? Maybe a guy hasn't had water in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. Got to look at it. Mm -hmm.